Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you to do a picture in picture video effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, I've got two video clips open on the timeline. One is a recording of myself watching this video, and then the other is the actual video. This was a screen recording I did, or you can download a video file, whatever you do. You also are going to have the audio of each clip, so you do want to keep in mind when you're recording uh, if there's going to be audio playing out of your computer or if you're going to just rip the audio from a different video so you want to just keep that in mind so it's all synchronized but in this case the what you want to do to create the picture in picture effect is have two different layers so on the top layer is going to be this small video that's inside of the big video so for this example if i wanted myself to be small and the video to be large in the background i just take the this clip of myself put it on video track 2 then take the other clip and make sure I mine the audio if I want, put them all, put it underneath. And if I want it to be synchronized, that's where I do use the audio tr track tools. So if I highlight both the audio clips, right click and synchronize, I'll press OK. It'll synchronize the two tracks together. This little plus four seconds label tells me that in order for these to be synchronized, that clip needs to move there. And now the two audios are synchronized and depending on how you recorded it whether you had speaker coming on your computer or whatever you could either mute one audio track or go to the effect controls panel and lower the levels of one audio track a lot more down but whatever your audio setup is and after you synchronize and make sure you mute the right tracks just have the only ones you want playing in order to get the picture in picture effect we simply can use the scale feature. So if you highlight the top clip, go to the effect controls panel and go to the scale. Right now it's at 100, but if I lower the scale down, you can see I could scale it down to like 25 or whatever, however big you want it, um, 33, and then simply move the position to whatever corner you want it. Another quick tip is instead of adjusting the position by using the X and Y sliders in the effects control panel, you can also just highlight that position label, make sure you have your selection tool active, and you can drag your clip around with the mouse. And uh, this will also give you some guides to snap to the middle or center of clips. So that's another intuitive way to move the position. And you can also use your arrow keys and the shift button. So sometimes I like to leave a little bit of border on the edge, but that's a nice alternative to sliders. Now. In this case, there's a lot of unnecessary information in this clip. Um, you know, I don't maybe need to see the whole monitor. It covers up a lot. So another idea you can do is in the effects panel, you can search for the crop effect. I can add this onto the clip and crop it in, like crop it in from the left or however much I want to crop it. Maybe you want to make it a square. Maybe I even want to crop it in from the bottom a little bit so it's just my face. And here you can get a more concise face camera. Also, let's say I don't want it in this top right corner, but it doesn't really make sense in this corner because of the way that I'm looking. I can just go to the flip effects in the transform effects folder, and I can add a horizontal flip onto this as well. And now I'm looking this way. Additionally, if you wanted, instead of a square to do a circle, you can search for the circle effect. This is in the obsolete video effects folder now, but you can add a circle effect, change the blending mode to stencil alpha, and then increase the circle size and change the position. Now you have this sort of circular effect, which can also be a cool picture in picture look. You can also do things like add a glow or a drop shadow in the perspective folder. Notice I'm just searching the, the effects by name. I can add a drop shadow or something change the opacity and di di distance from the image or the softness and I can in this I can kind of create these highlights or outlines in this way. If you didn't want to use the circle effect, you can also do the drop shadow on squares, but you can also mask out just mask the opacity of your clip using the circle mask. This way you can even do like ovals or different shapes honestly but that's another way you could do it. And if you're using some sort of green screen, 
picture in picture, then you can go to the keying effects, find something like the ultra key. And if you add that onto the clip, uh, this isn't a green screen, obviously, but you can sort of key out the background in this way. But again, that, that would be more for if you're using a green screen. And keep in mind that you can animate things as well. So let's say for some reason I wanted to move the position. If I add, if I click this stopwatch icon, it'll add a keyframe right here. And let's say like a little bit further, I wanted to move my face camera down a little bit. Just because there was maybe different stuff happening in the clip, I can do that and it'll move in an animated fashion. If I bring those keyframes closer together, it'll happen a lot faster. If I change these, if I, if I highlight both of these, right click and change them to hold instead of linear, then instead of animating, it'll just jump to the next one, which can also be useful. And you can even animate in completely from 100 to smaller scale. So let's say I wanted to zoom back in. I could add a scale keyframe and then revert it back to 100, revert the position back to 100. And in this case, it would get a little tedious because I'd have to also revert the crop back in. But you can achieve effects where you kind of crop back in. And then similarly, you can crop back out. So I can cut in, say something, and then cut back out or use that as a transition. Or you can just simply cut the clips on the timeline. Like I can just simply cut the clips on the timeline. And for the portion that I don't want to be zoomed in, I can just uncheck all the keyframes and just revert everything back with these arrow keys. So I can be picture in picture, and then as soon as we cut, it'll just go straight to this cut. Alternatively, if you right click on any clip and remove attributes, you can also do this to remove all the effects as well. Um, but in this case, it flips back over. I might not want to remove that horizontal flip, so I might want to remove attributes, but keep the horizontal flip unchecked. Now, if you wanted things to be the other way around, you would just simply put the other video clip on a track on top and you can get the same exact kind of idea and use the same exact methods just doing it this way instead. So if you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more helpful videos in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new ones. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.